to Buzz TV for another segment of Ask the Attorney. I'm here with Sarah Sullivan from Jericho Road Legal Service Ministry, here to tell us about her program that's doing impactful work in the Northeast Florida community with low and middle income people out here in Jacksonville. So thanks for being here on Ask the Attorney. Thank you for having me. So Sarah, we talked offset. You're, what you're bringing to Jacksonville is extremely influential. Your target is, is needing you now more than ever. Mm -hmm. What ignited the spark in you to start your business? Sure, there were a number of things. Um, I uh, am previously a clinical director uh, and professor at Florida Coastal and uh, a former legal aid attorney. And uh, so I've always uh, been involved in the low income and moderate income community, but um, with resources really drying up over the past couple of years, I saw all of these people that are unrepresented that are trying to access the court system. Um, nationally, statistically, at least two-thirds, up to 80% of people that try to access the civil courts do so without an attorney, which I think is staggering. Uh, so there's a huge need, and they're not doing it because they, they want to, they're not trying to be their own attorneys. They simply just can't afford a private attorney uh, to, to go um, to court with them. And legal aid uh, was going through so many budget cuts that uh, they can only represent so many people. They're completely over inundated with, with people that need legal services. And so when that was happening, uh, and I saw kind of the, the increase of people coming into our clinics at Florida Coastal, I realized that there was a need for something new, a new business model, a new community initiative that would help um, low and moderate income individuals. And that's phenomenal. Are there particular cases that you've seen more frequently than others? Sure. Family law is a huge need, and uh, that is where probably up to 90% of people that um, go through a family court case do so without an attorney. And to me, that's just staggering because the stakes are so high. You're talking about uh, financial issues. You're talking about issues regarding um, our children, and those are the most important issues, those family issues. So uh, family is, is a big area. Another area are guardianships, people with disabilities. Um, consumer issues, housing issues, these are kind of your bread and butter issues, if you, if you would say, uh, in, uh, in law. And there just aren't resources out there available. There aren't uh, enough attorneys that are doing this um, affordably for people. And when you say faith-based, you're a nonprofit, correct? Yes, yes. Okay. And that's another part. Uh, so uh, about the same time that I was getting frustrated because there just weren't enough people to serve this community, I was sitting in church on a Sunday, and um, I go to Beach Church uh, out in Jacksonville Beach, and our pastor, Pastor Jerry Sweat, was talking to us, giving us a sermon about serving seven days a week, not just sitting in a pew and getting inspired on Sunday, but really living out your faith day to day. And so the wheels started turning, how could I do more? How could I be more faithful in my walk? Uh, and that's where I came up with the idea that uh, why not have a faith-based uh, legal service ministry? And so that's how Jericho Road was born. Uh, and Jericho Road, the name of it comes from um, the book of Luke, the story of the Good Samaritan, which is a parable that Jesus told. And the parable was really, uh, he was being cross-examined, believe it or not, by some attorneys, some legal scholars um, in the faith. And they were asking him, what are the greatest commandments? And the first one was, love the Lord your God, your Savior, with all your heart and all your mind. And the second one is to love your neighbor as yourself. And then he tells the story of the Good Samaritan. And the Good Samaritan uh, came by and rescued someone when two others, two of the leaders in the community, ignored this beaten man on the side of the road. And so this good Samaritan uh, came and uh, took him and took care of him and also paid for his bill uh, and restored him back into the community uh, to, to kind of bring it back to Jericho Road. So uh, the, the name of the organization and the vision and mission really has to do with loving your neighbor, has to do with uh, restoring the community and uh, doing it one case at a time, giving people access to justice. That is phenomenal. 
How Thank can you. people get a hold of you to access your services? Sure. Our website is www.jericharoadlegal.org. Uh, you can also reach me at 904-718-9312. And you can also reach me by email at sarah, S-A-R-A-H, at jericharoadlegal.org. Sarah, thanks for being a guest today on Ask the Attorney. And I actually have some colleagues that are in the military that I think can utilize your services. So it's really impactful what you're doing. Thank you. And this is needed in our community, someone like you bringing this solution to our Northeast Florida community. So thank you for that. Thank you. Awesome. So once again, another segment of Ask the Attorney with Sarah Sullivan. Uh, go ahead and check out our website. Um, and share this with all your friends and family on all your social networks so we can spread the word about this impactful ministry that she is providing to the Northeast Florida community. Once again, I'm your host, Jeff Shuford, with another segment of Ask the Attorney. We look forward to seeing you in the next segment.